Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Oh, I thought you would never ask. It is Tuesday, the 29th day of November. Today is National Day of Giving, which is a good thing. Should that is do that a very good thing. Every day, really. Uh, and it's also Electronic Greeting Day today. So it's a day to send a message to somebody, whether it's a tweet or a... Um, text or I'm trying to think of other electronic greetings <laughs> any way that you do things electronically to greet them and we're going to electronically greet my father-in-law Heidi's dad with yeah, a little thing called Tuesdays, Tuesdays with, with Charlie. Charlie yeah I'm excited to chat with him and uh yeah that's that's I can't believe it we're almost done with November yeah it's the it's last crazy. the last Tuesday of November tomorrow's the last day of November does it seem like it went it's almost really fast it just went really quick I think I say yeah. that a lot lately but it just does. It seems like every month goes so fast. We've got a lot of great stuff to get to. We'll do that. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever your are looking for? We hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If you're having a rough time when it comes to meeting somebody, maybe the answer is right under you. Right Your under four-legged you? friend. Yeah. A survey of dog owners found 34% of them met their significant other thanks to their dog. And it's not just romantic love that people are finding. Thanks to their dogs, one in three respondents said they met their best friend. Because, you know, their best friend maybe was hanging out at the dog park. I'm not sure. Best friend was walking their dog or hanging out with their dog. How are these meetups happening? The majority of respondents say uh, they found it easier to start a conversation with somebody because they had a pet. That was the way to break the ice. And that provided them something to talk about. That makes about. sense. That might explain how 72% of those surveyed said that they have struck up a conversation with a complete stranger because of their pet. For those people, those conversations happen an average of 172 times a year. Wow. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? Shortly before he made headlines recently with the news that he'll be parting ways from Manchester United, uh, soccer player Cristiano Ronaldo became the first person to amass five. 500 million followers on Instagram. He has a lead over the person who has the second most followers, which is pretty astounding. Argentine superstar Lionel Messi, 377 million. So number one is 500 million. Number two is 377 million. Kylie, Kylie Jenner in third place with 372 million. I just Selena Gomez that. and Dwayne The Rock Johnson are in fourth and fifth, 357 million, okay. 347 million. And then I'm looking right now to see... I have six. <laughs> okay, it's actually more than that. I'm not on the app right now, but if you want to follow us, you sure can. Just be ready for this. I don't I don't post a lot of stuff on Instagram. I try to, but I always forget. I'm on Facebook more. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm old. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Tom Cruise's British commute is apparently disrupting the filming of the BBC drama Call the Midwife, according to the star, Jenny Egutter. In an interview with The Mirror, the actress said, Tom Cruise keeps ruining our filming by landing his helicopter outside when we're shooting. Oh, uh, yeah, that would do He it. has a pilot's license, and he flies the helicopter right over their set, causes a ruckus, so they're not too happy. A rep for Cruise did not immediately return a request for comment. They were busy flying around in a say? helicopter. <laughs> What's he going to say? I don't know. I mean, and 
We finally know when Top Gun Maverick will be hitting Paramount+. Plus. The highest grossing film of 2022 will hit the streaming service December 22nd in the nice. United States, in Canada, Australia, and the UK, and some other markets. It will be available in South Korea and France sometime next year. And for those of you wondering if you wanted it on Blu-ray or DVD, that's been available now for quite some time as of November 1st. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit better credit cards.com now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com today is all about elon musk twitter ceo said in a tweet that they will uh, be delaying their verified service with different color checks depending on the type of account plan was to have a gold check for companies a gray check for government accounts existing blue for individuals uh, whether they're celebrities or not this comes after he was forced to pause the eight dollar per month Twitter Blue service. Anyway, there's people out there that are really worked up over all of this stuff, but they said that they're working on manually authenticating any of these before the check is activated. Um, I think that's a good thing. Why is that a bad thing? Elon has a plan if Apple boots Twitter from the App Store because they're all worked up over stuff that he's doing. They're like, we're going to get rid of it. So he said, oh, that's okay. And then I'm going to just create a phone to compete with you. If you guys want to do that, I'm fine. Let's do it. So, can you even imagine? This guy, <laughs> man, I just, uh, I really like so him. So, in a New York Times column, the social media giant says they risk being expelled from Apple and Google App Stores if they fail to adhere to guidelines with regard to content moderation. So, they're saying you have to moderate this or do that, otherwise we're going to take you out of there. And then one last thing about Elon Musk, no one can say he's not ambitious in addition to the fact that he founded and or oversees several multi-billion dollar companies. He's taken on what may be his most difficult challenge yet, turning Twitter around. And so far, all he's managed to do is turn it upside down, but he has big (laughs) plans. Listen to this. I didn't realize this. Uh, He's been working on a thing called Twitter 2.0. Okay. But did you know he's been working on something else for a long time? He bought the domain x.com over five years ago, and he's spoken about creating a super app comparable to a thing they have in China called WeChat. So there's some people thinking that this whole, it would basically be like a WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, all these things all turned into one thing. Okay. So I don't know. It's interesting to see. And there's people that are already saying, oh, that'll never work. Well, I don't know. If there's anybody that can make it work, the richest man on the planet yeah, probably has I'm the resources this to guy do it. But can probably pull I don't know. it off. It, the whole thing just makes me wonder what's going on. So there you go. A couple minutes about Elon. Scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. And it's time right now for our favorite program, something we do every Tuesday just because we can. We pick up the phone. We call my father-in-law for a little thing we like to call Tuesdays Tuesdays with Charlie. Tuesdays with Charlie on the John and Heidi. Show. How you doing, Charlie? You know, Tuesday seems like it comes earlier and earlier all the time. <laughs> yes. It is, uh, you know, because we just miss you. That's why. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> what kind of cool stuff we can learn about today, Charlie? Hey, did you know that the average person only brushes their teeth for 45 to 70 seconds a day? Yeah, that probably yeah. makes about sense. Uh, I would say, how, how long are you supposed to? Two to three minutes. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm nowhere close to that. I don't have that many teeth to spend. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because you don't spend enough time brushing your teeth. <laughs> for you, that'd be like three minutes per tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that the average American spends 38 days brushing their teeth over a lifetime? Wow. And imagine if we all brushed our teeth as long as we were supposed to. It'd be like right. a year and a half. <laughs> Hey, uh, did you know then that hospitals don't have a room number 13 as well as a 13th floor? 
I did know that. People are superstitious. They don't want to be the one. I didn't know that about hospitals. Yeah, they don't want to be in the unlucky room. I know there's some hotels, but... I think there's a lot of high-rise building stuff that kind of just eliminate 13. (laughs) Just because they don't call it that doesn't mean there isn't a 13th floor. (laughs) There's a 13th floor. There you (laughs) go. Give me a room on the 13th. <laughs> and then uh, the, whoever created Mother's Day spent the rest of her life trying to end its celebration and died without children in 1948. Whoa. No kidding. <laughs> well, that's really sad. Yeah, that is. Created Mother's Day and then never had any kids and died. And didn't want Mother's Day anymore. Uh, that's a I shame. I bet it's Father's Day and never had any <laughs> kids and then died. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been a hermit. <laughs> hey, then, did you know that sailors who wear earrings or have tattoos won't drown? Why? Really? So apparently your tattoo or your earring weights you down, you drown. I don't know. I thought you said they won't drown. They won't drown, yeah. I'm going to have a staff meeting in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're slacking this week. <laughs> Why? What is they on vacation or something? You really got to quit having Bloody Marys for breakfast, Charlie. <laughs> Look at this sheet, see if there's anything on there that I see. <laughs> I got two more things here for you. Okay, that I'm what's come that? Uh, did you know that arguing over a woman's breast size is like choosing between Coors, Miller, and Budweiser? <laughs> they make plain preferences, but they will grab whatever's handy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is true. Kind of redeeming themselves here a little bit. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna end on a health tip. All right. As long as we end, <laughs> this could happen to somebody come tomorrow. <laughs> All right, what's that? If you get your tooth knocked out, put it in milk and hold it in your mouth. This will help your tooth survive longer. Make make sure to see your dentist right away. So if I knock your tooth out, you throw in a glass of milk. Take it to the dentist, and maybe you can put it back in there. Huh. How am I supposed to keep a glass of milk in my mouth? <laughs> I should have quit on the breast side. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'll try it. I'll give that a whirl. <laughs> that staff meeting's going to be brutal. Uh, somebody, somebody's getting fired over there. Right Heads are going to roll. You made me sound like an idiot. <laughs> okay. But isn't that your job to sound like an idiot every week? (laughs) Oh, wait, that's my job. Never mind. Hey, you ready for a question, Charlie? I've got the answer. All right. How many total steps are there in the Eiffel Tower? Oh. Like if you're going to walk all the way to the top, how many steps are there? 1,358. You know, you're you're closer than one might guess. 1,665. Huh. I didn't go all the way to the top. Yeah, you were... (laughs) You forgot that one last... Stepped on the 13th floor. (laughs) (laughs) 1,665 steps for the Eiffel Tower. Well, I'm not walking up that, baby. (laughs) Me neither. No. Now we know. Well, it's always a pleasure to visit with you, and it's even more fun when you goof things up, because then we get to poke fun at you some more. (laughs) We're okay with that. We might not be able to do this next Tuesday if I fire my whole staff. I'm not going to have to wait. Well, don't fire everybody. Keep keep one of them. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you next week, Charlie. Bye, Fluff. Bye, John. (laughs) Bye-bye. My father-in-law right there. We talk to him every Tuesday just because we can. It's a little program we like to call Tuesdays Tuesdays with with Charlie. Charlie. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? 15 minutes of shivering in the cold can be the metabol- uh, me- metabolic equivalent of an hour of exercise. Oh, my well, goodness. Well, I did that yesterday. <laughs> That's what I need to start doing for an exercise plan. What'd you do? Shivered. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? When you listen to music, your heart can sink to the rhythm. So make sure you listen to good music, oh, apparently. Oh, interesting. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The more intelligent a child is, the earlier they begin to lie and the better they are at it. Our oh. daughter must be a genius. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not nice. I, well, I had to say something, and I, I just thought that would be funny. I love you, Taylor. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Cats can hear ultrasounds. That's pretty cool. Hmm. 
And our final, now we got room for a few more fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Tigers can be taught to use litter boxes. Really big litter boxes. And one last fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The nursery rhyme never ever says that Humpty Dumpty is an egg. When you think no, about it. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it never does. All right, several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Heidi, 62% of people say they'd be mortified if any of their friends ever saw this. What is it? Their diary. No, their high school yearbook photo. Oh, goodness. Yeah, 62% of you guys need to really calm down. Exactly. It's not a big deal. It was in the past, your high school We photo. all looked that yeah, way. Yeah, don't worry about <laughs> it. All right, it's the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras of available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Record-breaking goldfish caught in Champagne, France, where an angler dragged in a 67-pound goldfish. 67 yeah. pounds. It's like his 10-year-old child. That uh, is Blue crazy. Waters Lake. It says the carp fishery released the behemoth known as the carrot 20 years ago, and since it has grown to be one of the largest in the world, it took the fisherman 25 minutes to reel in this goldfish before snapping a few photos and letting her go. Experts say the enormous size of the carrot serves as a reminder not to release pets into the wild because certain types of goldfish can grow to enormous sizes. Gigantic goldfish have been a problem in some areas where they upset the silt bed and they rip up plants. Authorities believe pet owners are partly to blame. So, okay. Okay, so he <laughs> caught it and then put it back, but they're saying, yeah, is don't that a bad do thing? That. If well, they're a bad saying, thing, don't why do is he that. letting it go? I don't know. What a bizarre story. Hey, you know what? That's why it's today's weird news <laughs> brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Most popular dog names of 2022. Do you want the male dogs today or the female dogs today? Mm, let's go with let's go with male. Okay, the male dogs today, then we'll do the female dogs tomorrow. How's that sound? Deal? It sounds great. All right. Uh, the most popular male dog names of 2022. Did you just assume my dog's gender? Uh, <laughs> Max, Charlie, Cooper, Milo, Buddy, Rocky, Bear, Teddy, Duke, and Leo. Okay. I like that. Yeah. I don't, I'm trying to think. I know uh, when I was a kid, we had a dog named Max. I know of a dog named Buddy. I know of a dog named Bear. But yeah, several of these, they're all common names. Yeah. I guess that's why they're the most popular. Hey, I just got here apparently. <laughs> most popular. So uh, there you go. According to Rover.com. We'll share the female names tomorrow. And I'm sneak peek. I do not see our dog's name on the list, but <laughs> we'll tell you what they are. And I've got them in the show notes already. If you want to see them in the show notes, they're already there, but I'm going to share those tomorrow. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people... People like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. Margaret Culkin Banning said this. 
Cleaning up with children around is like shoveling during a blizzard. That is true. <laughs> I've done that, that though. That is absolutely I've, true. I've done that to try to stay ahead. I'm like, oh, I'm going to just go out and do it now. That way I don't have to do quite as much later. So yeah, it doesn't uh, I've quite done work that No, way. but it does. Yeah, because you know, I didn't have a snowblower at the time. So I'm like, I'm going to just I'm gonna shovel this and then I'll shovel again later. <laughs> so, all right. That's a good quote. Quote of the day comes your way. Courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. And here it is. A man who unearthed a platinum and diamond ring worth $40,000 buried on a beach in Florida returned it safely to its owners. Whoa. Yeah. Joseph Cook found a ring while using a metal detector at a place called the Hammock Beach in St. Augustine, Florida. He immediately posted the video of him unearthing this on social media. And he called a local jewelry store looking for people who may have lost rings. He wow. said he ended up FaceTiming a couple from Jacksonville who said they had lost a similar ring when the wife said, oh my God, I can't believe it. And then she just started crying. Joseph met up with the owners and returned the piece, making him feel really good. Oh, he figures wow. he now has returned... $60,000 worth of found items to their what owners a great this guy. year alone. He plans to keep on looking, too. After all, he says, karma's always good. Every time I return an item, I find something better. So that's really cool. Now, I can tell you, I saw online where people were talking about this, going, how does he know for sure that they are really the ones who lost well, that Well, I'm sure they have ring. photos or they have yeah. descriptions or whatever. Yeah, because... You know, there are some people, I know that it's hard to believe this, but there are some people who would fib about things like that. <laughs> no. Oh, no, yeah. It's just, seriously, they would say that, hey, I lost a ring like that one. And then, you know, they wouldn't really have lost a ring like that one. They would just do it, you know, I'm sure he asked for some sort of verification. Yeah. They probably had to, like, you know, promise it was theirs. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there was o online, there were a lot of questions and I didn't see the answer anywhere. So uh, I'm sure that there was some sort of way that he was able to find out that it was theirs. But yeah, that is crazy. Uh, I've always wanted to get a metal detector. I think that'd be so much fun. But I, we I don't. We got one for our son one <laughs> we Christmas. We did. Yeah, I thought it was really, really cool. And I wanted to use it all the time and he wouldn't let me. Good news comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great Tuesday. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.